the plot we originally bought was on a bit of fell hillside and uh, the area was actually marked out with uh, daubs of red paint on the bark of tree stumps which of course Fell disappeared off. fairly quickly. <laughs> it was quite difficult to find because uh, the site was uh, just, well, I don't know if you walked around a fell forestry site, but it's just a great mass of brushwood and stumps and, and, and so on. We went and uh, spoke to some architects. We thought, well, there's this eco bunch down in Hart Street Lane. We'll go and we'll see, see them, them first. Yeah before we finally we decided. decided. So we went down to Gaia and uh, we were really taken by um, Howard's enthusiasm for a, a sort of eco, eco kind of house, which is not something that we'd actually thought of, or, uh, 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 but it was he who, who really sold us the idea. The design, funnily enough, went, we went full circle on the design. I can remember the first ideas that we had of what sort of a house we could put here, ended up um, getting changed, but uh, our final design was actually pretty close to what our first design was when we look back on it. So that gave me a lot of confidence to think that we've got it right. In order to sell us the idea properly, Howard very kindly took us on a trip to Austria to see passive houses there, and we went mm -hmm. to see Soames factory where they actually put these Stretched apple houses together. We make the panels. We make the panels for them. A lot of the uh, passive houses in Austria are very boxy, and I remember thinking I was a bit worried that we were designing a square box. Um, but giving our sort of thoughts to Gaia, the, the architects are brilliant at coming up with small changes that uh, you sort of put curves here and you make a section. You know, we've got sort of two kind of box sections as it were, but they're curved and, and having different levels and it really doesn't feel like a box anymore. When it first went up and you saw it with all the scaffolding on, I can remember being a bit horrified at the size of it and how large and kind of overpowering it was and, and I was a, was a wee bit sort of worried that what we built was not really going to fit in. Um, but once the scaffolding's down and the house has started to age and the trees have grown up, it, every day it sort of seems to be even better and it's changing and you know, it's changing for the better all the time. And as Anne says, we were a bit concerned when it first went up, that particularly from below it, it looks big mm. and uh, as you drive from Inner Leithen on the main road you can see the house as it becomes greyer or as the architects would say more silver. Um, it, it's it fading into the background and the trees are really melt shooting into up. It, yeah. Mm. yeah, I like the idea that uh, we're just natural products and Guy was quite insistent that we use all the products that are, are natural and no uh, nasty chemicals and keep the air clear and clean. When the house was going up and you'd come into the house that you were hit by this fantastic sort of woody smell and it just feels so clean and kind of natural that uh, everybody who came into the house would say, wow, you know, this is, this is great. But I think once yeah. people come in and uh, look out, um, they're really quite, quite struck. Mm.